G'day! In today's video, I'm having a look at the Acer Aspire 3, or more accurately, the model number A315 42R64E. Right here. I do wish that they came up with some better naming schemes for these laptops. Anyway, I've already taken out a few of the screws right now. They're all Phillips head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just opening it up to see what it's got. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So if the ten equal length Phillips head screws are out. What we want to do from here is get a thin plastic pry tool. I'm going to use this. Maybe I'd use a bank card. And oh, we start to pry. Uh, where's the best spot? I may switch to the metal one just to start it. There we go. Just lift it up just slightly, enough that I can get this in there. There we go. And we are in. So let's see what upgrades we can potentially do on the Acer Aspire 3. This one is a Ryzen 3 model. So checking it out. Start over in the left here. Zooming in. We have a optional 2.5 inch SATA drive, which looks to be able to be connected up. It's odd that it's up here and the flex connector is here. Considering the flex connector would connect here and go straight across. So I don't know why that is up there. When it would, once installed, it would live down here. So you can upgrade to a 2.5 inch drive. Flex connector would also go into here. This section here flicks up. This bit flicks up. The flex cable would slot into here and then clip down. So to show you again, that goes up and back down. So then we also have a upgradable Wi-Fi card over here. I'm assuming this connection here would be for a backlit keyboard, which this model does not have. Checking out the battery, we have a 48 watt hour battery down here, which looks to be held in pretty easily. We have one screw, two screw, and the battery to disconnect from here, which just pulls back, or wiggles back, and we're out. And we should be able to push it back in, 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 reconnected, keyboards in, going over to here, we have a M.2 NVMe, this one is an SK Hynix, 128 gig, so that would be upgradable with pretty much most stuff, lately I've been going with a Kingston 500 gig A2000, which does have a pretty good read-write speed and pretty good value for money. RAM itself, or the fan, is also removable. One screw, two screw, and the fan connector right here. All pretty straightforward. Moving over to here, we see one stick of RAM, one gig of DDR4, PC3200, so decent speed. And as you see, we have two slots. So if you want dual channel memory, add another four gig in, and that will increase the performance of your machine ever so slightly, on top of the bonus of extra RAM. Looking up to here, we see what the real reason why I open this, which we have, yeah. So with this, cu this customer had a screen that the hinges have popped out of, and that's the the reason why I'm opening it today. 
and it looks like this is getting completely ripped out. So reset it like that. And I've now got the LCD connector connected once more. Looking over here, we do have a removable, easily removable AC jack or DC jack. So if you damage a charger port on here, it is replaceable. So overall, looking pretty repairable and upgradable, which is quite surprising for Acer. I can't really say the same about the build quality on this one being the hinges snapped, but we have a 2.5 inch drive we can upgrade. We have the Wi-Fi card that can be upgraded. We have the M.2 NVMe SSD that can be upgraded, and we have two di available DIMM slots. So, not bad, pretty on par. Anyway, any other questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Hope this helps you understand what's inside your Acer Aspire 3. Bye.